okay hi everyone welcome to again uh welcome to mba path shala youtube channel. okay so i hope you have attended earlier sessions and you exactly got that what we go through in our webinars so today we have taken the topic of reading comprehension which is again a very important topic from any examination point of view especially uh cat when we talk about cat okay so there are a lot of confusion when it comes to uh, our reading comprehension how to attempt which reading comprehension we need to attempt how to analyze the difficulty level and how to solve questions how to comprehend it and a lot more okay so today we going to uh, solve this all doubts okay so let's start with the session okay so um, sorry there was some technical glitch so i was correcting it okay so uh, coming back to the session rc is again there are a number of questions student face during uh, they come across that what strategies we should adopt for you know whether we should go for uh, first reading the question or first we should uh, read the passage there are a lot more questions related to rc okay <clears throat> now uh when we talk about rc there are mainly two strategies which we can opt for first is uh let's go see the passage hmm. so uh there are basically two strategies you need to figure out your own okay first is that first you read the questions and then you read the passage okay and second is first you read the passage and then you read the question Ab, why every strategy cannot work on every single student see many a student says that when we read the questions first and then we go for the passage what exactly happens that they end up finding the answers that and in that process of finding the answers they keep looking for the answers they actually get distracted from the real crux of the passage and they might end up getting wrong answers okay because they might keep connecting words and they this strategy might not work for them so for them uh, which one is easier read the passage understand the passage clearly comprehend it very clearly understand what author wants to say and then proceed for the questions okay if first strategy is not working for you second uh, which reading the questions first and reading the passage later is basically a little time saving but again if you get confused if you get distracted by uh, answering the question at that time you may opt for the second one okay because accuracy is way more important than uh time okay okay so now second most asked question that which option we should opt for okay uh, which sorry which passage we should opt for how to analyze suppose uh, agar cat ka baat karte hain so around four passages are there in cat examination now which one we should go for okay obviously we cannot go for all all or uh, all rcs they are very time consuming okay so what we can do that is is a question okay so there are basically certain things which you need to evaluate before you choose choose any of the rc first is difficulty level of the rc and second is number of questions he uh, the rc is offering you okay now if the passage is really difficult and the number of questions are also excuse me around only two or three questions are there passage is really difficult time consuming so there is no point in attempting that passage why even though if uh, i feel that okay i can solve high uh, difficulty level rcs but still the number of questions only two okay time consumption gonna be equal to any different rc which is basically providing us with more questions so understanding one passage dusre kisi passage mein na paanch questions kar sakti hu but if i'll go for this question same time i'm gonna consume for reading this particular passage but number of questions i can solve is only two so basically this with some that is not worthy solving obviously we can come back to such passages once we are done with our entire section okay so next thing is first see the difficulty level length of the passage and number of questions these are the three things which you need to see now how to understand now whether passage is difficult or easy 
बिकॉज अगर पढ़ ही लिया है तो वी कैन सॉल्व इट राइट देन वाई वी नीड टू वेस्ट टाइम की चलो पढ़ लिया है डिफिकल्ट है लेट्स नॉट सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन यू नीड नॉट टू रीड द अंटायर पैसेज ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज जस्ट सिंपली रीड फर्स्ट पैसेज फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ ऑफ द पैसेज फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ ऑफ द पैसेज इज इनफ टू टेल यू दैट वेदर दिस पर्टिकुलर पैसेज इज योर कम्फर्ट जोन और नॉट okay once you keep practicing you will eventually understand that yes this is something which is my cup of tea or not okay first char line para pass line para and you need to keep one thing in your mind that you need not to take more than 30 to 40 seconds in analyzing the difficulty level of the passage consuming like two or three minutes just to see whether it is worth attempting or not is absolutely of no use so वेन एवर यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग योर आर सीज अभी जब प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हो आप लोग मेक श्योर कि बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दी पैसेज डोंट गो दिस कभी तो प्रैक्टिस कर रहे वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो वाई वी नीड टू चेक दैट वेदर इट इज डिफिकल्ट नॉट नो चेक इट एंड सी हाउ मच टाइम यू आर कंज्यूमिंग टू चेक दैट पर्टिकुलर पैसेज दैट वॉट इज द डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पैसेज ओके सो दीज आर सर्टन ट्रिक्स यू कैन अप्लाई एंड यू कैन गेट बेटर एक्यूरेसी और एंड बेटर टाइम मैनेजमेंट ओके सो today is basically we are having a reading comprehension with us which is uh, basically a typical cat style reading comprehension okay so see this particular i'm just showing you the reading comprehension this is the length of reading comprehension which is a decent one i won't call it a lengthy one neither a short one okay number of questions they are offering 1 2 3 4 okay four questions are there now at a decent length worth attempting theek hai now for let's check the difficulty level in the late uh, 1960s while studying the northern elephant seal population along the coast of mexico and california bernele group uh, it is basically many uh, people get confused that what exactly it is it is a proper noun it means it's a name of a person french and his colleague couldn't help but notice that the threat calls of males at some sites sounded different from those of males at other sites that was the first time dialect were documented in a non human mammal okay so when i read the first passage of uh, first sorry first paragraph of the passage i think that this one is little on a easier side the vocabulary is not that difficult sentence formation is not that difficult so i can say that okay this is an average passage and obviously the number of questions this passage is offering us is Four, which is again a decent number of questions. So let's see, understand the passage first. So basically, I'm taking you first to read the questions, so that those students who feel that reading question first makes them more comfortable with the passage, they will also get it. And those who feel that reading passage first is important, and while reading the questions, they get confused. So it's okay. You guys can simply ignore the questions. Okay. Now, which one? Which one of the following condition, if true, could have ensured that male northern elephant seal dialect did not uh, disappear? It means we can have that something we have spoken about that dialect has been disappeared. Second question: All of the following can be inferred from Leibov's study as described in the passage, except that. Okay. So we need to pay attention on uh, this person's study. so that we know that what we can infer so that we can easily identify that this is something jo unhone nahi bola tha okay second i'm sorry third which one of the following best sums up the overall history of the transform transformation of male uh, elephant seal goats northern elephant seal goats okay next from the passage it can be inferred that the call pulse rate of male northern elephant seal from the southern uh, Rookery's was faster because okay. So now I'm aware with uh, the passage questions. Now let's go back to the passage and read it comprehensively. Okay. Hmm. Now let's go for this. Okay. Now in the late 1960s, while studying the northern elephant seal population along the coast. of mexico and california bernele bioff and his colleagues couldn't help but notice that the threat calls of males at some sites sounded different from those of males at other sites that was the first time dialect was documented in the non human mammals okay so first passage is talking about that there are basically they are studying the 
population of northern elephant seal so one thing they figured out that if we talk about location wise at one location the thread calls it means uh, you must have heard the type of sound mammals produce you must have heard they can be thread they can be uh, alluring or they can be anything so they notice that different location has different thread calls it means the type of sound they produce they are changing basically location wise not species wise okay usually happens that when we hear dog barks in the same way okay so what they notice that they notice there is a slight difference between the calls of uh, male uh, elephant seal when we talk about and location wise okay and this was the very first uh, thing related to dialect which was documented of non human mammals all the northern elephant seal that exist today are descendant of the small herd that survived on elsa uh, gondelop after near extinction of the species in 19th century as that tiny population grew northern elephant seal started to uh, recolonize former breeding uh, locations it was precisely on the more recently colonized island where lay view found that tempos of the male vocal display show stronger difference to the one from esla <clears throat> gondelop the founder colony okay so what happened after that Uh, when he was studying, basically the jo existing uh, population the of these elephants, but basically of those very small number of population which survived at that time. So uh, suppose there was around thousand mammals, but they couldn't survive, and there were only hundred mammals which could survive anything. Jo bhi extension hua hoga, usko survive karne wale. Out of that thousand population, there were only hundred, and the existing population is basically result of those survived mammals only okay and those survived population was on so can we say ye origin tha jo abhi whatever uh, population we are looking at now that was basically result of uh, those mammals who survived on the silent okay after extinction as that tiny population grew on which this northern elephant seal started to recolonize former breeding location it was precisely on more recently colonized uh, colonized island okay so what happened after that they started recolonizing some are here only some have moved out as it usually happens with human also we must have uh, you know you must be aware of civilization so pehle kuch hamare saath aat civilization se gayi right but eventually now if you see we are scattered everywhere so say similar way in lok abhi recolonization ho raha tha okay so what he noticed that that vocal call is stronger in other locations than one from there's a strong difference between different locations so in order to test the reliability of these dialect over time lebuf and other researchers visited uh, eno nuevo island in california now they wanted to confirm that what exactly is happening okay because they were thinking that species same same species but different dialects so why this is even happening so they wanted to check this so they went to this island in california and the island where male show the slowest pulse rate in their calls so what was happening there uh they were basically showing the lowest pulse rate that is of related to sound kis duration mein from 1968 to 72 in this duration they basically saw that uh, there was slightly difference and that difference was slowest pulse rate now what we found that the pulse rate increased now they figured it out that the pulse rate is increasing but it still remained relatively slow compared to the other colonies we had measured in the past so what they found out they visited that particular island and they figured it out that they have the slowest pulse rate but over the time they realized from 1968 to 72 they realized that okay this pulse rate is increasing slowly so there is an increase rate of increase is still there but still if we compare that increased rate also with the other colonies you know which uh, we have measured in past so unke relation mein unke relatively this rate is still very slow okay proceeding further but the individual level the pulse of the call stayed the same now we are saying that individual ka suppose maine a person ko measure kiya tha and after 4 years when i measured that a person only uska pulse rate same hai theek hai but 
a male would maintain his vocal signature throughout his lifetime theek hai so i can assume this ki agar iska pulse rate suppose uh, 1910 mein ye tha so by the time he die he will maintain the same pulse rate that vocal signature so i cannot say that that pulse rate has increased of the existing population but the average rate was changing it means jo existing jins uh, ko main measure kar rahi hu a b c d ko maine measure kiya what i am looking at that pulse rate is similar only it haven't changed but the average rate is changing it means the average is increasing but jinko maine pehle study kiya tha unka to same hai then what kind of paradoxical situation is this so then they figure it out that immigration could have been responsible for the increase now maybe possible that there were some people who were there you know uh, they must have came to jaise us mein usually you see there was an existing population in mumbai you see there is an existing population but immigrations were coming so obviously the people who are migrating to mumbai they are basically changing the average of everything whether it is population whether it is uh, life expectancy whether it is wealth uh, wealth of the people or poverty or anything average is changing so can i say that ki average that there is certain change in the existing population no the change was because of those people who have moved out from uh, somewhere else to mumbai so in early 70s 43% of the male on eno nuvo had come from southern rookies that had a faster pulse rate so they are saying that it may be because of the immigration reason because they say that 43% jo male abhi reh rahe hain wahan pe wo basically southern area se aaye the jinka faster pulse rate hai so i can say that people sorry mammals with faster pulse rate are immigrating to that area jahan pe jo existing population hai unka slower pulse rate hai so i can come to a conclusion that this change in average can be because of these people sorry these mammals jo faster pulse rate ke gaye so this led labor uh, and his uh, collaborator lewis petrovich to deduce to deduce that dialect were perhaps a result of isolation over time after the breeding sites have been recolonized for instance the first settler of eno nuvo could have had by chance call with low pulse rate at other site where the scientists found faster pulse rate the opposite would have happened fields with faster rate would have happened to arrive first okay so eventually what happened isolation was there there were only 100 people left it sorry 100 mammals left it breeding site okay after that what happened they started to recolonize so waha se kisi ne move out kiya hoga so maybe i'm talking about b location so the person so the mammal moved at b location possible ki uska by chance slow pulse rate ho so eventually fir so slow pulse rate ka hi population waha pe grew kiya when we talk about c location jahan pe pulse rate we feel that pulse rate is faster so maybe it just a coincidence that the person that the mammal who moved at c location was having faster pulse rate so eventually waha ka population faster rate pe hua okay so this was his conclusion now as the population as the population continued to expand the islands kept on receiving immigration from the original population the calls in all location would have eventually regressed to uh, the average pulse rate of founder colony in the decade that followed scientists noted that geographical variation reported in 1969 were not obvious anymore okay so then we were talking about that this entire change was because of basically immigration but then later on scientists research they figured it out that jo pattern 1969 mein notice ho raha tha that is not very obvious anymore it means those conclusion which uh, you know uh, drawn by the the sky lay view was not very obvious in early 20, uh, in early 2010s while studying northern elephant seal on El, uh, eno nuvo island research researcher carolina kc noticed two what yebu had heard decades ago was not what she heard now okay so again us island pe jo research hua tha they figured it out ki wahan pe difference tha vocal mein they were having different pulse rate and everything but now when this new researcher that is caroline casey noticed difference was still there but not what that lebu heard it was different from his observation difference was there but difference was different 
by performing most sophisticated statistical analysis on both sets of uh, sets of data so when we performed most of us it means very deep analysis on both set of data that is one by caroline and one by label usne confirm kiya that dialect existed back then but had vanished it means that dialect we were talking about that was in existence at the time he started it but now when kc uh, that caroline kc started this particular thing by that time wo trend exist, uh, vanish ho gaya tha okay yet uh there are more difference between the males from the late 19 1960s and their great grand grandson okay so they are saying that there are other differences we we can talk about from male in late 60s and their great great grandson it means maybe the mammals existing now so modern males it means the population which is in existence now exhibit more individual diversity it means it showing more diversity maybe pehle location wise tha a location is having same b location is having same c location is having same they are all having same dialect but different from each other a is different from b b is different from c but now what is happening in a location itself there is a difference in dialect okay in existing population and their calls are way more complex while 50 years ago the drumming pattern was quite simple that drumming pattern we talking about and the dialect denoted just a change of change in tempo kc explained the calls recorded today have more structure sometimes featuring double or triplets okay so now kc has concluded that drumming pattern was simple back then but now everything has changed it uh, the structure the call recorders the tempos everything has become way more complex and diversified okay so any question if you guys have related to this passage you can you guys can ask or else we'll start uh, we'll proceed for questions okay anyone okay let's proceed for questions then okay which of which one of the following condition if we could have ensured that male northern elephant seal dialect did not disappear okay so caroline concluded that that dialect which used to be there in 1969 or 1970s is no more in existence and we have to prove ki kaun sa condition aisa possible tha in which we can prove that this particular dialect is having disappeared now besides elsa godelo there was one more surviving colony with the same average male call tempo from which no migration took place okay i'm oh, sorry so is this uh, be the answer so no this cannot be the answer reason the immigration male seal that changed the average call tempo is incorrect that was not the case. Now, second, the call tempo of individual male seal in host colonies changed to match the average call tempo of immigrant male seal. Okay, so this is proving vice versa. We need to prove that it haven't disappeared, but this shows that it might disappear due to a change who get as per host colonies. Besides, uh, Ezra Godlob, there was one more founder colony with the same average male call tempo, from which male seal migrated to various other colonies. Okay, this. again cannot be our answer why because this is basically coming with a hypothetical situation and that to that one more founder colony with the same average so if you talk about founder colony at that time everything was same only the dialects were same only and we need to prove that it did not disappear so if we say that there was a same founder colony maybe this is a hypothetical situation so we can imagine of one more hypothetical situation that the way that original population changed in that way only founder colony would have also been changed so that's why third cannot be our answer to fourth says the call tempo of individual immigrant male seals changed to match the average tempo or tempo of resident male seal in host colony okay this is justified because the person is saying ki ye jo dialect tha ye disappear ho gaya tha we need to prove that if any of the condition is true we can be ensured that okay it did not disappear okay it's more like that there is a culture let's talk in human reference there is a culture existing in location a theek okay. hai 
so uh, there are around 1000 ka population and 100 moved out to many other metro cities now those 100 people changed okay so when we study those 100 people can we conclude that the culture has disappeared no because now we are proving that these these are the people who change according to the host colony that is those metro cities so that doesn't prove that the existing culture has disappeared that existing culture is still there it just ki jo immigrant the they are only changing as per the host colony so if only immigrants are changing as per host colony they are, they are more adapted toward them so in this way we cannot prove that it has disappeared so fourth one will be the answer question okay. next uh, all of the following can be inferred from lay view study as described in the passage except that change in the population and migration has had no effect on call pulse rate of individual male northern elephant okay second says the influx of new uh, northern elephant seals into eno nuevo island would have soon made the call pulse rate of its male seal exceed that of those at uh, elza <clears throat> asla godlo male northern elephant seal might not have exhibited dialect had they not become nearly extinct in the 19th century okay for says the average call pulse rate of male northern elephant seal at anonyo island increased from early 70s till the disappearance of the dialect okay so we need to infer from we need to see that what this person said except it means we need to come up with a point what he didn't say what was not his point okay we need to come up something like that okay so uh, can we say that change in population and migration had no effect on call pulse rate of individual male northern elephant seals yes because he said ki jo migration the unka effect jo existing pe tha un pe nahi hua right those who were coming they were having their own and those who were existing they were having their own there was no effect on each other so this we cannot say this is something which he said uh, the influx of northern new northern elephant seal into anonyo island would have soon made the call pulse rate of its male seal exceed that of those at no so this wasn't the case this is something what he didn't say so let's keep this as an option male northern elephant seals might not have exhibited dialect had they not become nearly extinct uh, extinct in the 19th century okay this is again something which he which we can infer from what we uh, what information he had provided to us can we because if you remember there was a line given this led le uh, Boffen and his uh, collaborator Lewis Petrinovich to deduce that the dialect were perhaps a result of isolation over time after the breeding sites have been recolonized. So this is something we can infer. Fourth says uh, the average call pulse rate of male northern elephant seal at Eno Nuevo Island increased from early 1970s till the disappearance of dialect. Okay. in the decade that followed scientists noticed that the geographical variation reported in 1969 were not obvious anymore this is again something which we can infer that they were disappeared of the that so second will be our answer third Uh, which one of the following best sums up the overall history of transformation of male northern elephant seal calls okay now can anyone answer to this one to me come on anyone who want to go for this okay so i'm assuming that no one wants to go for the answer okay let's see uh owing to the migration in the aftermath of near species extinction the call had trans uh, transformed from exhibiting complex composition less individual variety and great regional variety of simple composition 
less individual variety and great regional variety. Okay. This sums up of male northern infants in Chihuahua. Okay. Yeah. So, is this something which is uh, summing up the overall history of transformation? No, this uh, this actually fails to grab the crux of, crux of the passage. Uh, next, the call have transformed from exhibiting simple composition, great individual variety, and less regional variety to complex composition, less individual variety, and great regional variety. Okay, something it is talking in itself of contradiction. So this cannot be our answer again. Going to migration in the aftermath of near species extinction, the average call pulse rate in the decolonized breeding location exhibited a gradual increase until they match the tempo at the founding colony. Okay, anyone who feels that this one can be the answer? No, again, because this again, something a little vague, it means too journalized term, too journalized meaning. Fourth, the call had transformed from exhibiting simple composition, okay, less individual variety, it happened, a great regional variety to complex composition, that was too there, great individual variety, that was there, and less regional variety. True, because we were studying that there is location A, B, and C. So there was no regional variety. Why? Because in one single location itself, there was a great individual variety, which is given here. So obviously, it, it becomes difficult to have regional variety. True, because we can come up with a regional variety only when, you know, A, B, C. A is somewhat similar, B is somewhat similar in itself, so that we can identify that, okay, these are the major differences between these two locations. But individuality and this becomes really difficult that how we need to identify these from each other. So that's why fourth one becomes our answer. From the passage, it can be inferred that the call pulse rate uh, of male northern elephant seals in the southern cookies was faster because, okay, so we were talking about call pulse rate of male northern elephant seal in southern rookies was faster. Okay, a large number of male northern elephant seal migrated from the southern rookie to Eno Island in 1970s. Okay, can this be the answer? Anyone who feels this can be the answer? Okay, now the male northern elephant seals of Asla Guadalupe with faster call pulse rate might have been the original settler of the southern road. Okay, this can be the answer. Let's keep this as an option. The calls of male northern elephant seals in the southern rookeries have more sophisticated structure containing doublets and triplets. Okay, this cannot be the answer. This was something the conclusion of the modern one. A large number of male northern elephant seals from Eno Novo Island might have migrated to the southern rookie to uh, decolonize them. Now, this cannot be the answer again because this is something we cannot really infer from the passage. So we are left with only one option that we have shortlisted that is second, a male northern elephant seal of Asla Guadalupe with faster call pulse rate might have been the original setter of southern Key. So in that case, we studied that that might be coincident jo original. Suppose this is the original place. Okay. And these are the two locations of slow and of fast pulse rate. So it might be possible that the person who migrated here was coincidentally with a faster one. Okay. And remaining one maybe was slow. So this actually can prove that basically if this location is having faster, so we can prove that they are faster than this one because origin was this. Okay, so any question, any query you guys wanna come up with? You guys have any questions, you can come up with this.
Okay, so I cannot see any of your questions. So I'm assuming that you guys have no doubt or questions. So shall I call it today? Then? Okay, so assuming that you guys have no questions, still uh, maybe someone was typing. So I'm gonna wait for like two more minutes. If you guys have any doubt, any questions, you can come up with that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Next session gonna be uh, related to something more interesting and something more trickier. And we're gonna learn some new tricks and shortcuts how to solve such questions, okay? So uh, make sure that you attend next session so that we can work on that and we can scope it, okay? So by the time, keep practicing. Bye-bye, guys.